today we will see the directional coupler characteristics. So suppose if you are going for the directional coupler, here as usual, we will keep the beam voltage to around say 250 volts. And then we will change the repeller voltage. Voltage is maximum and then we will start reducing it. We will reduce it. We will reduce it. We are getting some waveform. Okay. There we will stop. Now see what is the repeller voltage. We have to note down your beam voltage and repeller voltage. We have kept the beam voltage around 250 volts. This is DC. And we have kept the repeller voltage which is around 160 volts. 164 volts. Okay. Now this is your bench setup. Here you are having the reflex crystal oscillator. You are having isolator. Variable attenuator, you are in frequency meter, slotted line. Then we are going for this. This is your directional coupler. We are going for seeing the characteristics of the directional coupler. This is the directional coupler. And uh, uh, what are the output you are having? We are connected it to CRO. And there we are seeing the waveform. If you are seeing the directional coupler, you are having, say, this is your V1, V2, this is V3 and V4. V3 it is a shorted one. Okay. So, if you have seen the directional coupler, it will appear something like, uh, it will appear something like this, okay. This is your port 1, this is your port 2, this is your port 3. Port 3, this is isolated port and this is your port 4, okay. Four different ports are there. We will, uh, we will calculate the voltage, we will calculate the voltage at your port 1, at your 2, and your port port. Okay. Port 3 is isolated one. This is the frequency that we are providing. So here some frequency will be there. Okay. We can calculate the frequency. So below, below, below. Uh. The place where we are getting the maximum, uh, uh, where we are getting a dip, uh, there you have to stop. Okay, you are getting this is the dip that you are getting it. And to look further, you make uh, Okay. So, you adjust it, uh, so you there you have to stop. Uh, there you will stop. Okay. Here, we can uh, see what is the reading. Here we can see the reading. So what is the reading that you are getting it here? Nine you are having a one vertical and two horizontal lines. Okay. 9.77 uh, seven six five. Five. Okay, okay, okay. It is your nine point seven six seven six five gigahertz. Gigahertz frequency. Frequency is there in terms of here. Gigahertz. And uh, now uh, just we will see that what is the voltage that you are getting at V2. Okay. Uh, uh, for calculating the voltage, you can go for volt per divider into number of dimensions. Okay. So what is the voltage that you are having? Uh, 2.5. 5. 2.5. 5, huh? 6, huh? 2.5, 2.2. So, suppose if you are seeing, uh, you are getting it, uh, how much you are getting? Uh, uh, you are getting uh, 0.50 volts, you are getting it. Okay. We will keep the attribution uh, same only. Now, we will see that what is your V1 and what is your V4. Okay, these two we have to calculate. V1 means input here. Okay. V1 is this one. Okay. So we can uh, put the this one and uh, here. Uh, the output at port 4. Okay. So you see the output at port 4 and that was in the forward direction. Now we have uh, reversed the direction of the Okay. Now we have given the direction of the and we are seeing the output of the same port only. Okay. Now we will see that uh, what is the voltage that you are getting. 
this is your in reverse this is your in forward direction okay in reverse direction uh, what is your uh, hold per division that you are having now 0.1 and this uh, we are seeing the 0.5 is 0.1 0.05 0.05 so this is the voltage we are getting when it is reverse reverse and this you are getting when it is in your forward so you can calculate your directivity directivity your directivity will be 20 log 10 your v in the forward direction by v in the reverse direction so your this is coming the 20 log 10 forward is 0 0.5 by 0 0.05 so it is your uh, 1 by 10 you solve this so you will calculate your directivity so this is one calculation of your directivity another parameter will go in for that is your coupling the coefficient so coupling coefficient will be log n v1 by your v4 okay next parameter will calculate that is your coupling coefficient it is a 20 log 10 v1 by v4 v4 means v4 in the forward direction okay now coupling coefficient it will be a 20 log 10 v1 by v4 okay we have already calculated v4 v4 is parallel and we have to calculate and in order to calculate the v1 v1 means we can remove your this uh, directional cursor and directly from here we will see that uh, what is the voltage so if you are seeing what is the voltage you are getting what is the voltage you are having? 4.5 into 4.5 into 0 0.2 0 0.2 So uh, 4.5 into 0.2 So how much is coming? Here we are getting 0 0.90 volt So this is your V1 So directly we can calculate your 20 log 10 0.9 by 0.5 so if we are solving this we can calculate the what is the coupling coefficient for this electrical uh, coupler at this particular frequency when we are keeping the beam voltage to 50 volts and when we are keeping the resistance voltage minus 150 volts okay 